Roger Federer is playing on clay for the first time in three seasons while Nadal is arguably the best player ever to star on the red dirt. The Spaniard has won 11 French Open titles and will be favourite to win again in Paris when this year's tournament gets underway next month. Djokovic is the current world number one and has won each of the last three Grand Slams. Federer has hit some form in recent weeks, reaching the final at Indian Wells before winning the Miami Open. But team did not mention the Swiss star when asked who will be Nadal's closest challenges on clay this year. As long as Rafa is playing, he will always be the top favorite on any clay court title but I think there are more serious challenges to him than the last years maybe. Team said. Roger Federer clay court schedule, where will Swiss star play, Sasha Zverev always, Novak Djokovic is back on the top of his game. I hope me and then there are the really young guys, Felix, Auger Ali Asim, I think he likes clay a lot so he played amazing in Miami and also very young guys like Stefanos, Tsitsipas, Denis, Shapovalov, there are many serious young challenges for us, I think. Roger Federer snubbed in Rafael Nadal challenged by Dominic Team, Novak Djokovic included, Image Getty, Roger Federer last played on clay in 2016, Image Getty, Novak is on the top of his game again. Won the last three slams in a row which is amazing and I think he also has in his mind that he can beat Rafa anywhere. Last year he obviously was not on his top so there's one more really strong opponent for Rafa which makes the whole clay court season even more interesting I would say and even us players we are very curious how it will be and who are the biggest challenges Federer is set to play just one warm-up tournament before the French Open while Nadal is at the Monte Carlo Masters this week. And team has acknowledged just how good 20-time Grand Slam winner Federer is on clay. Rafael Nadal is the king of clay, image Getty, Federer is amazing on all surfaces and his record on clay is pretty stunning, he added. He reached so many semi-finals and finals, if there wouldn't be Rafa he would be on six or seven French Open titles.